VR seems to be what we're all talking about right now, but what about AR? Microsoft is shipping out the HoloLens soon uh, with pre-orders starting right about now. What is HoloLens? Let's take a look. Microsoft HoloLens brings holograms into your real world. Using transparent lenses, spatial sound, and an understanding of your environment, holograms look and sound like they're actually part of the world around you. That is mixed reality. So we have seen a bit before from uh, Microsoft's AR demo, specifically with Minecraft um, at many conventions, including, I believe, CES, but also uh, E3. And it's very cool. I mean, when we look at uh, virtual reality, it is uh, complete immersion. AR is a blending, and mm -hmm. we see that there. Um, so it will be shipped out to independent software developers on March 30th. Uh, you can apply now. However, you have to be approved by the company in order to get one, and it costs $3,000, which makes VR seem a little bit cheaper, I guess. Yeah. But uh, when you consider what's going on in the AR headset, which is that it does not require a separate computer to work, it's, it's all internal, mm -hmm. I mean, it makes a little more sense. Yeah, I mean, it just the more we become, the further we move forward with technology and trying to immerse everyone in the surroundings, the higher the prices are going to be. I mean, you and I were at CES, and even though CES is known for having huge brands there, like everyone was queuing up for the Samsung virtual reality uh, display, which is obviously encouraging, especially if you're in a gaming environment. I mean, nothing speaks to me more than being immersed even more so in a game. Mm -hmm. And that's why virtual reality to me has always been more appealing. But AR to me is interesting because it, I mean, it doesn't, being able to immerse yourself in an alternative reality within what's already your own reality, if you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. if you're at home and seeing what you can do whilst adding in things to your already comfortable environment is mm -hmm. interesting to me. But I mean, what about you? Is it just, does it ever, does it speak to you as much as virtual reality does? Is it interesting? It is interesting because mm. I can only do VR for so long. Yeah. As much as I enjoy it, I do have symptoms of being dizzy, tired, uh, fatigue in my eyes. Maybe not knowing what's VR or what's real life and well, you get lost in it? I mean, when I was doing VR, my demo, I continually strayed off of my mat and yeah. got dangerously close to punching a hole through a monitor. <laughs> um, which we have on video, be sure to check that out. Okay. And I, I, I can see the appeal of sort of being in your own world. And you can use it for a variety of things yeah. uh, besides, obviously for gaming, it would be very fun. And m the Minecraft demo showed that, yeah. uh, which would be able to place things, it's, it's Legos. It's Legos and it's awesome. Yeah. But you could use it for many things. Like you could use it for uh, navigation or yeah. you could use it to give yourself directions to somewhere. Uh, you Businesses, can plan I'm, very innovative things around yeah. it. Businesses will probably use it for the most immersive form of presentation. And everyone has their own set. If you're trying to sell a massive pitch and then you can demonstrate it mm -hmm. through real life holograms right in front of them. I mean, the, the thing about this is the options are, are endless. In virtual reality, I feel like okay, you're gonna be involved in the game or whatever else you're, you're involved in, but with AR, like it almost seems like there's limitless what you can do in well, the environment it you can explore. It's what these different companies are betting on. I mean, yeah. Facebook has clearly uh, put itself in the corner of VR yeah, with yeah. Oculus, but we see Microsoft noticeably absent yeah. in this VR uh, phenomena where we see all these companies jumping in. Yeah. You know, PlayStation's in on it now, Samsung, uh, HTC, it's, mm -hmm. it's become, somewhat ubiquitous. I think it will be more once uh, it becomes more of an accepted medium. Um, but Microsoft is saying no. AR like, is where we're at right now. Know, I like Microsoft in terms of the decisions they've made in the past because whilst everyone likes to follow suit and especially with if you're involved in com com like trying to have competitions with Apple and a lot of these mainstream sources, I feel like Microsoft do a good job of staying true to what their messages mm -hmm. and what their brand is and they don't often falter away and if they see something like AR which is interesting to them and they think their audience will be interested in they won't follow the sheep like, I feel like they'll go ahead and do exactly I what think they want to do. it's a smart move to yeah. be honest if, uh, doing their own thing doing something they're strong at I've seen the demo in person <clears throat> it is extremely wow. impressive I can imagine. so I because they put the HoloLens on the camera but I was also there in person looking at the difference it was it was incredible it's something that looks, I mean, when we look at uh, people being impressed by the hologram at Coachella or yes. this concert from a hologram, this is so much more beyond that. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm really interested to see where this goes. Um, I know I said Minecraft, but it will be notably absent from the dev kit that is shipping out again March 30th. Uh, it will include Skype, Young Conquer, based on Conquer's Bad Fur Day, 
uh, Robo Raid, a new crime drama called Fragments, uh, The Hollow Studio. You will need a Windows 10 PC capable of running Visual Studio 2015 and Unity 5.4 in order to make this work. However, it is uh, it does rely on its own computers internally. So there's that trade-off. Audience, what do you think? AR versus VR, who's the top? Which one would you go for? Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.